today's episode, I will explain 6 reasons why you should not get the Pomeranian. So let's start it. Number 6. Watchdog Syndrome Don't be fooled by this breed's fluffiness and reputation of being a lap dog. Poms are keen watchdogs who take their job very seriously. You can literally see their ears twitching even when they seem to have fallen asleep. These dogs are quick to sound the alarm at every suspicious encounter. This can make them somewhat trouble for those living in condos and close-knit neighborhoods. We cannot blame them though. If we look at their past history, these fluffy dogs have spirits heritage in their blood. Number 5. You cannot leave your Pomeranian alone outside at any time. The size of the Pomeranian gives you an advantage from an indoor perspective. But it is a disadvantage from an outdoor one. These dogs are the same size as the prey that many predators in our environment hunt. If you leave this breed unattended, then it could be spotted by an eagle, another canine, and other hunters which might be in the area. Because of their barking habit, these dogs will also alert potential predators to their location, which creates a further problem for them as well. Number 4. Lords of Determination Palms are smart and determined dogs. When they want something, they will be persistent and won't give up easily. Often though, this is due to a human flaw of not being able to say no to these cute faces and adorable tactics these dogs use to get what they want. Therefore, they're ready to jump in if they sense any weakness in your ability to provide rules. Let's just say that they have an independent streak. Number 3. The Fragility of Toy Breeds The Pomeranian is categorized into the toy group, which includes several small dog breeds bred down in size for specific tasks or more simply, for the purpose of having a pet of convenient size. While appealing, the diminutive size of these dogs come with a cost, increased fragility. This does not mean they need to live in a bubble. It just means that you need to be extra careful around them. For instance, you can seriously injure a Pomeranian puppy if you happen to accidentally sit on him, fall on him, or drop him when in your arms. A toddler or clumsy child may easily stumble on these small dogs, and their loud voices and unpredictable movement can cause stress and fear in the long run. Number 2. Pomeranian Not Your Average Small Dog Many people imagine Poms as the average small dog who loves to be carried in the purse and who will warm laps for hours on end. Well, not so fast. They are different from the average small dogs, considering that they descend from sled dogs and have spirits heritage just like Huskies and Akitas. Poms, therefore, are not fragile dogs. They have an independent streak and may even enjoy chasing little critters. Given the choice, they may rather roll in disgusting stuff, eat gross things found on the ground, and dig rather than stay on lap or do all of that in a sequence to their owner's dismay. Number 1. Pomeranian Coat Care The palm's glorious coat comes with a price. You will need extra time for a coat care. If you want to avoid annoying mess and too many mild shedding which can particularly heavy at certain times of the year. The good news is that all you really need to do is brush the coat daily and provide a bath every now and then. Occasionally trimming may be needed but only if the groomer or vet recommends it. 